Welcome as we descend into madness with Highlander Quest Shaman. So there are a lot of possible additions into Quest Shaman. So why not put all of them in? Put in the control package, put in the evolve package, put in your usual good battle cries, put in your usual good cards such as Zeliax and Siamla. Uh, put in some of the bouncing cards and then of course the star of the star of the show. Zephyrus the Great. Double Bellacron Zephyrus, why not bring him back with Brewmaster or Bog Slosher or Barista Lynchin? Think of all the value you could get! Wow! The Madman! Decent or shock target. Put this apple on your head. I hope you like my invention. Oh, the boss is here already, and I can already use it with Brewmaster. Unbelievable start. Womp womp. Hey, I got you, friends. Yeah, what's the perfect card in this situation? Probably something like an MCT consecration, lightning storm. Your wish is my Zephyrus has been buffed to care about the board more. Holy Nova. Cleave. Interesting. I've never seen Cleave offered before. I've also never seen Holy Nova offered now that I think about it. Drink with me, friend. Flesh fails. Okay, uh, Zephyrus, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Could you help the? Could you help me out? Your wish is my suggestion. Trust Nova. Nothing like delaying my inevitable death. Two perfect cards later. It's your lucky day. Wings of the sun come to my aid. I really want to kill that dog with a Need the board. Do you guys see how great the deck is? We pulled off the dream! Zephyrus the Great, Youthful Brewmaster on turn four. Incredible! Wait, I lost? Mogu Flesh Shaper. I think the Mogu is good enough to keep in the opening hand when I also have an evil totem.
One of the reasons, of course, why Quest Shaman is good is because you can run two copies of the really good cards, such as Evil Totem, Evil Cable Rat, Sludge Slurper, Questing Explorer. But, what if Zilliax is that good of a card? What if? Maybe? Looks like a Shervala deck, which really wants to kill the evil totem. Reporting for duty. Of course it's the right way. This card I ideally want to play after the quest is complete, but playing it now is fairly good for Tempo. Consecration is a card I need to watch out for. Let's try this. Reporting for duty. This wasn't on the map. I haven't played against the Control Paladin in some time. Their control cards are, what, just, um... I can see the potential of Consecration Pyromancer. It would be Pyromancer Coin Consecration. That would be, uh, four damage to everything. So, let's try this. Come dance to my song. Pyro Coin Consecration. Maybe. Yes. Oh, according to plan. Fit in Cobalt Lackey to deal 4 to face right now is a question. The next turn is Hero Power Champ. I don't need to. I don't have a play on turn. Oh, also, I'm. Oh, I'm overloaded. I can't do that. So I'll probably end up playing Lackey next turn. So first observation, he's playing Zephyrus in his deck. Second observation, that did not trigger. To my will. Sting like a bee. Just hasn't been getting a lot of draw, I guess, unfortunately for them. I decided to play this without doubling it, because Shrink Ray is an answer that answers both hot shots anyways. And if you're gonna play a tempo Zephyrus, then I should play a tempo Cobalt Lackey to kill it. The light bends to the will. <laughs> Let the pain speak to me. Hmm, which card would I rather not double? Probably giggling and better in this matchup. Help! I don't wanna play Plague of Murlocs. It's not really playable in this matchup. To my I do hate to give up such tempo, but it's important to Keep up. Try do this pretty much. <laughs> Gonna rely on my Hagatha double being very good. Spells 
Violent one, and we have a value one. Try harder, man. I hope you like my invention. I think bad voodoo would be really good on giggling inventor. And double bloodlust just might win the game, especially when it also deals ten. What an insane dress for her. So it's plus six. Alright, that's a uh, easy lethal. That's incredible. Wow. How much burst was that? Plus twenty four plus ten. It's Thirty four damage burst. In that situation. Oh, hello. Now, I don't know if this is too slow, but we'll see how aggressive the opponent's opening is. In the dream world, I don't play any of these until we flip the quest. I wonder if Zephyrus can take account my hero power. Okay, well, we have to play Zephyrus now, don't we? Yes. Your wish is my suggestion. Okay, <laughs> my friends are coming over for board games, like, right now. So let me finish up here. Um, let's see, the perfect card. The perfect card is Soulfire. I think I need it right now. Eviscerate? That's pretty good, too. Thanks, Zephyrus. Look at me pulling a viscerate out of my hat. My blade be thirsty. Mm, so violent. If I attack Restless Mummy, well, this is. Ugh. Every minion takes damage gain plus one attack, so that's gonna be a 5 4 if I kill that, so I have to kill it. Ugh, oh, the frothing is scarier. Mm. That's so scary. Unity. Precision. I need to survive until the earthquake, pretty much. I think the card that makes me survive the most is the Volcara Scoundrel. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, right. None of those would allow me to play Earthquake next turn. That's bad. Mystery choice. You can't be serious. You cannot be serious. <gasps> yes. Still lose the game. It's like Zephyrus, pretty much. Still lose, lol. That's so funny. Okay, well I can play Hagatha's scheme. 
It's better than Earthquake in this case, because I can do other stuff. And then I guess Sludge Slurper might draw something good. Um, let me think. The next turn I'm playing Giggling, for sure. I only need that much mana. I should play this and that. To survive this turn, I win! It's like Giggling Inventor doubles. They don't have very many cards that get through. Oh, what a cheater. Well, I mean, not being dead is good. But we have that going for us, which is nice. Oh, is Earthquake letting me survive more often than Giggling Inventor? Giggling Inventor is probably better. Gets, uh, it beats Weapon? Yeah, and then Shudderlock behind it, for sure. Okay, let's see. Wow, we are so good here. What have I played in terms of lackeys so far? Um, I think I punch first. Was that the perfect card three times? No, that was a Zephyrus card. Wow. The perfect card is Healing Touch and Tyrion Ford Ring. Thank you, Zephyrus. From Beyond the Grave. Oh! <laughs> you didn't get to see my perfect card choice! Four perfect cards! We win the game!